Good day, traders. This is Rich with BinaryOptionTrading.com coming live with some price action on the binary market. It's currently 9.02 a.m. Looking at the Euro USD pullback here on a move up, finally hitting the whole number. I'm getting a call option right now. Um, in at 1.32913. Let's go back to the chart. You can see the pullback here hitting the whole number. We are in your highs. We're hitting this wick here and this wick here and this resistance one, which is now becoming a support level. I'll go to a one minute chart, plug it in, it gets to pull back right here. It did the same thing just a couple of minutes ago. Well, this is more like 20 minutes ago. Uh, momentum is to the north side right now, so I'm riding that out until the US markets open up. Um, we just can't get away from this 132.42 number. Let's, let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, right here, it just seems to want to gravitate to it. Uh, pivot is above it, which is a good thing um, for the euro. Uh, if we can stay above this area, we could see movements up to the north side. And currently, we are seeing um, kind of like a holding pattern for the last two weeks or so. And uh, 133 is a strong level of resistance, but I do think we'll get back up there before the U.S. markets open up. And then finally, I think we will bust through. Um, it's depending on maybe if there's news at 10 or something. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't look at that yet. But be aware. Make sure you like, comment, share, get involved on the channel, subscribe if you're new. Um, check out the chart setup video if you haven't done that yet. And uh, hopefully we can have a winner today. So we do have some news at 8.30, which was the trade balance. Um, that already happened. Looks like it was positive for the U.S. Um something at 10 I don't know what that is I don't think it's anything to worry about anyway we are gonna continue with the video and we'll be back uh, hopefully you guys are having a good week so far as Tuesday currently down by a pip and a half so we need a little bit movements in the north side however this closes in five minutes so we do have some time for this thing to move up in our favor so we'll be right back and we'll finish this thing up All right, all right. Here we are. Uh, pretty clean trade right here on August 6th. We have about 50 seconds to go on this one. You can see our entry point on this candle, kind of in the middle here, a little bit higher than I uh, expected. Excuse my phone going off. And uh, we start riding this line right here, and now we're moving up to the north side on these one-minute candles. Beautiful trade. Just a simple move, guys. I mean, you can kind of see it. Going with the trend, going with the momentum to the north side. And this thing is going to close in our favor. And we will have a nice winner. Assuming we don't get a dropper candle right now. But I don't see that happening um, at this particular time. You can see the drop off here. You can see the drop off here. This happened in three candles. This happened in about 15 candles. Um, and now we're steadily climbing. So we are before the U.S. markets open up. So this is a perfect timing to take this kind of trade. And uh, we are happy with it. And we will move forward um, with our day and the rest of the week. Let me go check out the back end, make sure it's cool. And then what I'll do is I'll go over the chart a little bit and we'll finish this thing up. Be right back. Okay, here we are. 1.32915 was entry. And 1.32955. So five pips. I'm sorry, four pips in our favor. Um, nice winner. Quick. Seven minutes. In and out. And now price is starting to move back down, which is okay. That's part of the game too. You can kind of see it here on the price action. And that's why we're taking this. Was, remember, this is resistance one at first when it was coming up here. Failed and dropped off. And then it finally broke through. And it created a nice one-minute wick on the 33 level. That was beautiful. Uh, that's a winner, winner. And then it dropped off, came up, dropped off, came up. Five minute. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, look at that wick on the five minute resistance. One area, beauty. Um, was challenged here on this five minute candle and dropped off on this one. Broke through it, busted through the new highs. Um, I like to trade old wicks that haven't been broken yet for the first time. Uh, this wick is a little bit different, but is it a whole number? There's a lot going on in this wick. A lot of catalysts here for later. I don't know if it's going to hold because momentum is to the north side. We got a wick. You got whole number. You got res resistance too. Uh, you just got to check your time of day. If it does challenge it, 
and uh, 133042. Um, should be interesting to see what happens at this level if we break through. I think we'll challenge it one more time before we bust through, um, but eventually it should get through unless we just drop off all the way down to this level again, and that's uh, yet to be determined. But past Forex trading, which I still do today, is look at these five-minute wicks, and if they haven't been challenged yet, the first area of trading uh, first first time it comes back up to it is a good area to take a trade. Now this trade would have probably produced I don't know 10 or 15 pips, not very many, um, but enough to take a quick scalping trade. So let's go through a couple things real quick on this chart. See if I can bring up another show you another wick that would have worked. This is the middle of the night. Um, you look for ser serious wicks. Um, it would play. I really can't see anything right now because I don't know what time it is. This well, we had that. This was on Friday, I believe. A beautiful trade here. All these wicks challenged, failed. Um, price came down. So a lot going on. I'm going to close it up right now because there's not really much to show because we've been in such a tight range. So that's another thing you got to consider. We're in this range. Should be careful with your trading. Um, be smart. And try to take the best setups possible. Don't force it, especially. I mean, if you take a trade, make sure you have something working for you, like a catalyst or resistance level or a pivot or a wick or something. Don't just trade to trade, okay? So remember your risk. Always remember your risk. Talk about that at least once a week. Uh, you know, you can lose all your money. So just be careful. Be smart with your money. Be smart with your trading. And we'll talk to you on Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday, but trade of the day.